try to explain my experience with my great teachers. And very fortunately, I could came very near to them in my childhood. And uh, I want to say something to a, a younger generation, that how we learn from them, how they had been teaching us uh, with a very, very old traditional system of tabla playing. And uh, this is very important for the students of tabla to know the system of training, system of learning, as we have received from our great teachers. It is not that easy. Because for an outsider like me, I am from a musical family, but my family was not playing tabla. So I had to look for a very, very uh, great maestro. And fortunately, I found Ustad Karamatullah Khan Sahib in Calcutta. And then I went with him, with my brother, and he accepted me as his disciple. And somehow, for my, for my behavior or for my character, or for my dedication or for my love for Tabla, he took me in his good book very quickly. So I became almost like a son of the family. So that was the real, real privilege, I would say, that I could really got something from them what they had been only giving to their children. And this first thing what I could learn from him, seating position. So seating position is very important because tabla is an instrument we can play in many, many ways. I mean, sound will be there anyway. But physically, it should, it should also look very natural. So what he told me first, hey, sit very straight, as you normally you sit. So we started sitting normally like this. Then hand comes on the tabla, and there you can find, see that there's a break here. So that means the hand has a kind of, not like this, because if you do this, then you have a pressure on your shoulder. So when it's coming like this, then you have a pressure come from somewhere, somewhere you don't feel it. And after practicing this way some time, I would say long time, then your hands become very powerful, but you don't know that. Suppose I play dha, it's quite strong. Or, but not, you, you will not feel that I'm working from here. I'm quite old now for power, to play powerful. But I have still very much power in my fingertips. And that, I think, came from the training behind that how to the, pres the placement, placement of the fingers it is very, very important for if you want to play a very good classical tabla in proper way. So then what he started telling us, but all the time when uh, there was a, a little boy coming, little baby coming, a kind of, they started. One, three, three. I, I started playing when I was three, four years, but I couldn't have to get the guru. I got my guru when I was 15. So little children, they had been taught the teaching, only one sound, go playing and playing ta, 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 sometimes, or ga, ga, ga. But placement of the hands, you have to carefully have to see. Not like this, and not like this, eh? Ta, 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 ta. And these two fingers are very carefully kept, like uh, two friends, not doing anything but helping very much here. Not this, but then sometime only T, T. And this whole whole hand is touching, not like this, not like see. T. See this finger working, two parts of the hand. This is a V here, a little bit V. So and this is free for ta or other bowl, like T. Now T. Not like T, not like this. T, T. Coming from up, but looks a little bit like this. Look. If we play fast, looks like this, but not. 
movement. A, A. Long time, maybe, maybe three days, four days, one week, to make it correct. correct. And the condition of the, uh, this kind of, uh, to play the ball is, first condition is, from here to this should be very straight, a straight line, this and this. Suppose if I go like this, joking for example, but still you see, this should be always straight. If I go like this, it's very bad position because you have, don't, know, don't have any power here. So first condition is make a straight line here and the middle finger in the middle always. Whatever you play, T, T. Or if you go other movement, T, D, T, T. See, this is in the middle. Not, no. So this condition was given to us very st strictly because the father of Ustad Kamadul Khan Sahib, Ustad Madhis Khan Sahib, he was very strict. He was sometimes even showing the hammer, hey, careful. So he, we had been very frightened about him. But the little mistake was, hey, what you are doing? That means the finger, they had been taking very much care about their position. And then comes the other sound, for example, together, dha. Dha is a uh, sound. You can uh, compare it like a melodic, uh, melodic uh, um, note. Sa, sa, like a, like a sound like ocean should be like not deep. Dha. The sound should be open, both tabla and ba, like dha, like a dha. He was taking very much care that dha should be very open, both the sounds should be very clear and tone. That this and ga, no? Then come din, din, din. This we had been very much carefully taught, taught by them, and they had been very also serious. If I am not doing that one, or you, I was not able to do, you have to do. Unless the sound coming, do it. So then they were, they were giving some compositions. Like first composition, what I learned, because I could play a little bit. Dhage, tete, dhage, tete, dhage, terekete, tuna, kata. This is his way of speaking. Dhage tete dhage tete dhage tere kete tu na ka ta. Now, dhage te te dhage te te dhage tere kete ta ka ta ta ke ti te ta ke ti te. my first lesson because I could play a little bit but if the band the student is very new not play nothing for them different different practice but this one he said you can play this because there's a, you know, I could do it now here the two you have to look it very carefully that te re ke te almost same sounds see te re ke te. we call it te but actually te re ke te same sound this is the sound of terekete. And when the same terekete is played in kaidas, different kind of kaida, the terekete comes much more sharper and starts with one finger, middle finger, like. So different, in different kaidas, like one kaida we learned Dhati dhage na dha titiket dhati dhage tu na kata. This take a different here. Dha. There.
different sound this little difference of this as I playing terekete uh, here now other point very uh, should be important to mention that kaida is the name of a composition i don't want to go into the meaning of the kaida in literature literature literature, literature meaning of the lit literature here i want to explain you how kaida should be played kaida has a typical type of playing you can't play everything uh, you can't play the kaida like gat or like the sound of the rela or the sound of the parans kaida has a character tak 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 this kind of and one sound one very important kaida like da te te da te te da da te te da ge tu na ka ta or for example ge na ta ge na te te ge na da ge tu na ka ta da te te de te de te da te te this kind of sound so that sound should be very sharp and very kind of what's the solid sound not really soft sound so the character of kaida is depend on that see da symbol if i play you can play but the master uh, a master or a master listener they may not uh, they will okay but if you play if you keep the sanctity then they will appreciate it more for example this kaida what i said before the heli kaida dhati dhage na dhati re kete dhati dhage tu na kata see the bar here the modulation of bar and the tabla sound lot of bar is there but the bowl is dhati dhage na dhati re kata dhati dhage tu na kata lot of uh, style is coming here so this style and whatever the sound the modulation this comes later after you master all the sounds this kind of a typical character of kaida i i try to explain you and then many kaida are there that then comes a bowl we call it rela meaning of rela i don't discuss there very real from real from the from the character is kaida has a one sound one stroke and rela has two or more stroke in in one sound in one stroke like धा ते ते के ते तक धिग नक धा धा इज ऑलवेज धा इज वॉवेल कैन ऑफ धा धा ती रे के ते तक धिग नक सो धा ती रे के ते तक धिग नक दैट वर्ड धा ते ते धा ते ते धा 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 ते ते के डबल साउंड सो द कैरेक्टर ऑफ रियलाइज मोर देन वन साउंड इन वन स्ट्रोक and there is a expression that kaida is manly male and rela is female softer let me softer like if you play rela for example simple rela Kajandila, and there are thousands of Kajandila. The master is fantastic composition. This, this was a simple one. There are a lot of different Kajas, difficult Kajas, like are inside. 
And then comes uh, composition, gut. It's a blending of it's a mixture of kada from kada and rila, also some bowls from other uh, like parans, so gut. So there are many, 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 but this is, uh, this is not a time that would explain everything in one time, then it could be confusing. And uh, I am very particular to mention that we, whatever we play, fast playing is not the main criterion. Clean, distinct, and with the character. If you play kaida very fast, where somebody is very, uh, they practice very much, they are very, very powerful, the car not kada anymore. Kada has a speed. If you see the old masters like Sarvaka Khansa, Kramat Khansa, Aladra Khansa, you see kada, dhar kada, dhadaka, deta, deta, aladra khansa. Dhadaka, deta, deta, dhagana, 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 deta, deta, dhagana, dhati, dhagana. Not, there is a character is gone there. So, sette dhati, 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 dhada, deta, dhaga, dhina, dhina, dhati, dhati, dhada. Character is not there. Character of kada is, not very fast, fast but not very fast. If somebody is able to play, they can play, but the character is gone. Like if you tumri this kind of thing in local music or this other playing, and tumri a lot of tans are not there, because this is very romantic. So you can, if you have a good voice, you can make tan in tumri, but then tumri is not there. So the character is very important in tabla compositions. And our motto should be, our, we should do, at least the senior musicians, they should at least try to explain to their students or to the audience, they try to keep the sanctity of uh, playing the tabla, playing the instrument, because this, the, the time, the fast, the fast world is going fast and fast and fast and fast. So we should not lose the character of the instrument. That's very important. Like if you play all the time, it's a theka, for example, tinta theka. But not in the other, in the other, in the other, in the other. If you all this, there is no character coming. See, there is a dhin should be very clean, like. You can do a lot of work there, but if you always press it, maybe sound no good. But character is not there. Character is dha din din na na din din na na din din na na din din na. Dha din din na na. Not not necessarily all the strokes. This is for first thing. There are decorations of the checker. One can decorate, but with simple bowls. First and last sound, da din din na na din. This, this fourth, th fourth beat and fifth beat, this should be dominating. Like na na din, na na din. Now this is the character. I don't play anything, but it will sound like checker. These two sounds very important here. Din din na na din. Coming. This is a lot of variety we can do. The good musician, good um, brain, or good hand, they can record it beautifully. Like th same tracker, the, the, uh, sim the, the simple one is. Now. you can do but the first one is or the main one is din din na na din din na na din 